Hallelujah. I want to thank God and uh, uh, thank Bishop for giving us this opportunity. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Reverend Alice, for giving us as Cornerstone family to minister even this day. We bless the name of the Lord. I want also to thank the leadership or the pastors of this ministry of Deliverance Church and also appreciate also the um, leadership, the administration of Cornerstone Academy. Thank you so much, Mr. Odero and your deputy, Mr. Kamau, for giving, giving us opportunity to be here and also to minister. It is just a privilege. We thank God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As you've heard, my name is uh, Abednego Wambua. I'm born again. Um, married. This is my fourth year in marriage. I have one wife and uh, one daughter, the firstborn. I couldn't come with them. Uh, they are ministering in worship in our church, Redeemed Gospel Church. And in Cornerstone, I'm a class teacher, grade six. And also, I head the science department. And I thank God for that. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. I want to thank, I uh, want, uh, I wish that uh, I could have get, uh, got uh, a lot of time. But uh, I think this ministry is very strict in matters of time. But uh, I am going to, to keep time because I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So I think that introduction is enough. And I want to pray, to pray for the word of God. Let us just pray. Our Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name for this wonderful morning and this hour, this day, the first day of October, my dear Lord. We thank you, my dear King of Glory, for your word. We have praised you, King of Glory. We have done many things, my dear Lord. But our Father, is another time that we are going to hear your, your word. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord is going to minister to us today. I pray in the name of Jesus, you are going to touch and reach our hearts by the glo glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. We worship you and we honor you for your faithful God. My dear Lord, I just present and submit myself, dear King of glory, on your hands that my dear Lord, you may use me. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. This morning, I would like to share the word of God about being watchful as a Christian. Being watchful. And I would like uh, us to read the scripture in the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 32, uh, and then to 35, very, very fast. And God is going to bless us. Mark chapter uh, 13, 32 to 35. The Bible says that, but concerning that day or that hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on guard, keep awake and pray, for you do not know when the time will come. It is like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his servants in charge, each with his uh, work and commands the doorkeeper to stay awake. Therefore, stay awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come in the evening or at midnight or when the rooster crows, or in the morning, lest uh, he come suddenly and he find you sleep. And when I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. Uh, this is Jesus teaching his disciples and telling his disciples that in the journey of heaven in salvation also, uh, people or Christians need to be watchful and to be on guard. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
And we need to be as a Christian because we are on a journey here on earth. There is an eternal uh, home that is in heaven. And Jesus is giving uh, his disciples an example of a man who went on a journey and he left his workers at home and tells them to be on guard at his work and also the gatekeeper. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I will, this morning I would like to speak to us as Christians that we are the workers and Jesus is expecting us to be on guard and to be watchful. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just like, uh, just like a man having premises and having a, a big company and uh, wealth and mighty things and great things, he employs workers and employees, uh, 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 takes employees and gives them just divide jobs to them and delegate jobs and, and duties to them and it tells them this is what you are supposed to be doing in this my company or in this uh, 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 premises under this environment and now uh, Jesus when Jesus came and when we got born again everybody was given something on this world and on this earth we were given something and why are we supposed to be watching for? It is because Jesus has given us something. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I would like us to understand that why Jesus is telling these people to be watchful and to be on guard. It is because you have something that God has given you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There is something that God has given you. And that's why God is telling you to be watchful. Because he says the devil is looking for someone to devour. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus is telling his disciples to be watchful because he gave them duties. He gave them something. And now, why are you supposed to be watchful? It is to guard what God has given you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I know and I'm very sure everyone as a ministry, God has entrusted you with something as a Christian. God has given you something so that you may work, you may minister, and you may serve him. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And today I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, or everybody who is here, whether you are a kid and you, or you are a baby, I want to tell you you have something and it is, it is good to be watchful and guard what God has given you. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to also, another reason as to why we are supposed to be very careful and to be on guard and to be alert, it is because we are waiting for a groom. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I've told us that we are on a journey. Hallelujah. We as the church, we are the bride. And the groom is almost. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to tell us that if you be watchful, and if you be alert, there is no way that Jesus is the groom will find you sleeping. He tells them, Jesus tells his disciples that be watchful lest the owner find you sleeping. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So my brother, my sister, do not sleep. Be on guard. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, and uh, I want us to give some of the ways of being watchful and being on guard as a Christian. Number one, it is prayer. Number one is prayer. I want us to understand that prayer should be a lifestyle and a habit to all Christian. You have, all, you have no reason to fail to pray. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. When you pray, God will reveal everything that is in his spiritual realm. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
When you pray, you'll be understand. You'll be in a position to understand what is happening. If there is anything that the enemy is planning, God is telling us that it is good to be watchful. Lest somebody comes and take away what God has given us. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And one of the major way and main uh, way of being watchful, it is a prayer. You have no reason to fail to pray as a Christian. Jesus tells his disciples that all men ought to pray always. You ought to pray always as a Christian. So it is good uh, this morning I want to encourage us if you have been taking too long or whether you or if you have gone for an holiday or you have taken a half in prayer tell your brother your sister that there is no off there is no holidays when it comes to prayer praise the name of the Lord Jesus you cannot take an holiday and rest because you should pray as a Christian because it's one of the ways of being alert and being watchful. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why the disciples of Jesus Christ tells him that he teaches us on how we should pray in Matthew 6, 9 to 13. And now Jesus tells them, when you pray, do like this. Say our Father in heaven. Hallelujah. Hallowed be your name. May your kingdom come. Praise the name of the Lord. When you pray, the kingdom of God comes where you are. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. When you pray, you walk with God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. You cannot afford to fail to pray as a Christian. Because they knew in one way or the other. They saw how Jesus was praying. Jesus would spend the whole night praying on the mountain. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And if Jesus was God, what about you and me? We should pray always. Praise the name of the Lord. Brethren, I want to tell us that these are evil days. I want you to tell you. I want to tell you the truth. These are evil days. And you should pray. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to give another, the second point. Another way of being watchful, for. It is fellowship. Tell your neighbor fellowship. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Fellowship. In the book of Hebrews. Chapter 10 verse 25. The Bible says. Do not neglect the coming together. As the habit of some. But encouraging one another. All the more as you see the day drawing near. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Fellowship. When we come together, Jesus is encouraging us. Hallelujah. The word of God is encouraging us. We meet together. Let us not ignore. Let us not uh, neglect meeting together. In prayer meetings. In fellowship. Praise the name of the Lord. Because when we meet together. We encourage one another. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Is there anyone has given up? You as a brother or a sister, you have a duty to encourage that somebody. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. You have a duty to tell somebody it is well. It is going to be well. Hallelujah. Do we go for fellowship? Do we meet together? Praise the name of the Lord. Or do we just meet together when we are well, during Sunday service, it is even good to meet in prayer, prayer meetings and also midweek. Because when we meet, we encourage one another. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why the word of God has told us we should not neglect uh, meeting together. Another, another way of being watchful is studying the word of God. Study the word of God. Hallelujah. Now and this, as I have said that days are very evil and are so evil. It is easy to get someone when you have a, your phone. You can spend, you can spend 
to even more hours browsing. But when you try to take your Bible and study, hallelujah, dozing, sleeping. Praise the name of the Lord. How are you going to make it as a Christian if you don't study the word of God? The word of God will give us the knowledge, will help us to know God even more. To know what God says about our lives. When he was your last time to take your Bible and have a personal study. Or you open your Bible. I want us to give us a challenge. Do you open your Bible when you, when you come to church on Sunday? Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. <laughs> or you read your Bible oftenly. Every day. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Sometimes we fail because we don't know. We have no knowledge of the word of God. And it says that men and people perish because of lack of knowledge. Sometimes, you know, now, nowadays times are very hard, very harsh. Especially when it comes to the economy of Kenya now. Hey, if you don't pray, if you don't lean on the shoulders of Jesus Christ, if you don't pray and be watchful, I want to tell you, hey, it is very easy is to backslide and also to perish as a Christian. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I urge us, we be watchful as a Christian and wait upon the Lord, the bride. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I have two importance of being watchful. I could have shared more. Uh, one of them, when you be watchful, when you are on guard, you resist, you resist the satanic exchange. The satanic exchange. And I want us to give an example of the book of First Kings 3.16, which talks about uh, two halots. Two halots in the book of First King uh, 3.16. Two halots whereby God blessed them with the children and sons. And uh, it's like one of them was a foolish person because she lied on her baby. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now she decided to take the son of her, of her friend. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because the other one was sleeping. She was not watchful. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. There was an exchange at that night because a person was not watching for my brother my sister if you are not watching for the devil can exchange your miracle the devil can exchange your ministry and that's why you find people have been born again and they are backsliding because they have been they have been sleeping and the devil comes and takes whatever they have and what god has put in their hearts praise the name of the lord jesus christ and this woman when she took a son of her friend that's why they went to the king, King Solomon. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the end of it, what the truth was known. But I want to tell us, I don't want to continue in that. I want to tell us, my brothers, my sister, if you are not careful, according to these days, this is the dispensation which is very hard. If a Christian is not watchful and is not prayerful, I want to tell you the devil can do anything to you. Can take your position. Can take your ministry. Can take your wealth. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. That's because you are sleeping. Hallelujah. And then the other, the other importance of being watchful. It is that um, when you are watchful. When a Christian is watchful. It helps you to understand and to resist the whims and the schemes of the enemy. Hallelujah. And that one you are going to get it from 1 Peter 5.8. I'm not going to read. 
When you are watching for as a Christian, you will, in a, you will be in a position to understand the schemes and the plans of the enemy. And you will be in a position to arise and fight and engage yourself in spiritual battle and engage yourself in spiritual war. Because as a Christian, you should be a good spiritual warrior. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I would like us to stand up in the name of Jesus Christ. I would like us to stand up. I have four minutes and I want uh, this morning uh, we go before the presence of the Lord. These are the evil days as I have said. And I want you just for two minutes just raise up your hand. Raise up your hand this morning and tell God to help you to understand the schemes of the enemy. To help you and to open your spiritual eyes. Your inner eyes. Tell God to open your inner eyes. Tell God to open your inner eyes. That you will be watchful. You will understand the schemes. You will understand the schemes. The whims of the enemy. The tricks. The devil is very cunning. Just talk to God. And tell him, help me to guard what you are put in me. Help me to guard my ministry, my position, my wealth. In the name of Jesus, just talk to God. Talk to God this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is watching over you. God is watching over you. To tell him this morning, God, I am here. I need you a spirit. Help me the spirit of the Lord. Tell the Holy Spirit of God to help you to be watchful and to guard what God has given you. Your ministry, your position, your job because the devil is outside there looking to devour somebody. Looking to devour somebody. Tell the Lord this morning, my father, I just want you. I need you more than yesterday. I need you more than yesterday. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We give you glory and all the honor. We want to appreciate you, father for your word king of glory we bless your holy name for your faithfulness my God and for your word Jehovah God in the mighty name of Jesus according to your word everlasting father we are praying dear father that you are going to help us to be prayerful people in the mighty name of Jesus to be watchful people in the mighty name of Jesus everlasting father we pray that you may help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Father, we bless you. Our God, we give you glory and all the honor because you are faithful God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I want to ask if you have come to the house of God today and you want to give your life to Christ. You want to give your life to Christ this morning. The first step you can take it is just to give your life. You want to say yes to Jesus. You want to receive Jesus as your personal savior. Just raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. If you want to receive Christ. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I can see many hands. The pupils. Hallelujah. I don't know whether there are ministers here. You will pray for them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. They can come forth for the remaining seconds. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just come forth. Just come forth. Just come forth in the name of Jesus. Come forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The only way and the first step to be watching for is to receive Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because of my time, time is over. You will meet the ministers and then they will talk to you in Jesus' mighty name. Now, I want us to conclude. My time is over. I want us to conclude. My time is over. I want us to conclude. My time is over. 
Everlasting Father, we want to thank you this morning. We worship you for your faithfulness. We thank you, my God, for the new day and the new month. It is all about you, everlasting Father. Thank you because of every brother. Thank you because of every sister, my dear Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I commit each one of us, my dear Father. And the Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, as we have begun a new month, we are going to begin a new journey in salvation. We are going to begin a new journey in spiritual life. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak restoration. I speak restoration to anyone, my Father, who has lost a job, who has lost a position, who has lost a spiritual life and prayer life. I speak restoration in the mighty name of Jesus and I rebuke I rebuke the enemy that it comes and to snatch and take away what the Lord has taken from what Lord has given us in the mighty name of Jesus I condemn all the works of the enemy in our spiritual life I am praying our father that you may restore us restore our prayer life restore our wealth restore what the enemy has taken from us in the mighty name of Jesus father we bless bless you and we honor you in jesus mighty name we pray amen thank you thank you so much madam jen thank you so much amen